In this section, we look at thin functor categories. Let L and M be thin categories. Then L to the M, defined as the category of functors from M to L, is a thin category. Indeed, if F and G from M to L are functors between thin categories, then a natural transformation, alpha from F to G, has components alpha X from Fx to Gx in M. Therefore, there can be at most one natural transformation from F to G. In set theoretic terms, we have L to the M is defined as those set maps M to L such that F is monotone, as an order morphism, with F less than or equal to G if and only if. For each X in M, F of X is less than or equal to G of X. Recall that the category of small thin categories is equivalent to the category of preordered sets. So we have the following proposition. Let L be a thin category. Then, then the product functor of L is left adjoint to the exponential functor of L. And this also holds when we restrict to the category of post sets, ORD. For the proof, we define the unit and co-unit. The unit, eta m, is defined such that eta m on x is a morphism from L to the product of m and L, which takes L to the pair xl. The co-unit epsilon m is defined as evaluation, i.e. epsilon m fl is f evaluated on L. We first want to show that eta m and epsilon m are pre-order morphisms. So one, x is less than or equal to x prime in m if and only if eta m x is less than or equal to eta m x prime in the product of m and l to the l since x l is less than or equal to x prime l for all l and l which is equivalent to x is less than or equal to x prime in m. Therefore eta m is a pre-order morphism. For two f l is less than or equal to f prime l prime in m to the l times l if and only if f is less than or equal to f prime in m to the l and l is less than or equal to l prime in l. If and only if for all l in l, f l is less than or equal to f prime l in m and l is less than or equal to l prime in l. And this implies f l is less than or equal to f prime l which is less than or equal to f prime l prime in m if and only if epsilon m f l is less than or equal to epsilon m f prime l prime in m. Therefore, epsilon m is also a pre-ordered morphism. To show that the triangle identities hold, we have epsilon m cross m times l precomposed by eta m times l taking m l to eta m m evaluated on l, which is equal to m l. For the second triangle identity, we have epsilon m to the l precomposed by eta m to the l takes f to epsilon m precomposed by eta m l f, which as we can see is f, since epsilon m on eta m to the l f on l is equal to epsilon m f l, which is f l for each l in l. Therefore the adjunction is proven and can easily be seen to restrict to the category of post sets. We can also prove the following with regards to limits and co-limits. Let M and L be thin categories, then M to the L has one, has an initial respectively terminal object, if and only if M has an initial respectively terminal object, and two, M to the L has products, respectively co-products, if and only if M has products, respectively co-products. In order theory, the initial and terminal objects are called bottom and top objects, and products and coproducts are called meets and joins. And so we will use this terminology interchangeably. For the proof, suppose M has all I airy meets for some set I. Let Fi be an I airy family of M to the L objects. Define boldfaced M as the order morphism which takes L to the meet of all those elements Fi, L in M. Then for each I in I, Mf i is less than or equal to fi since the meet of fi l over i is less than or equal to fi on l for each l in l. If g is less than or equal to fi for each i and i, then gl is less than or equal to fi on l for each l and l, which implies gl is less than or equal to the meet of fi on l over i for each l and big L. 
Therefore, gi is less than or equal to m fi in m to the l. This holds for any set i. Therefore, ml has a top if and only if m has a top. We take i to be the empty set in this case. And we also have m to the l has binary meets if and only if m has binary meets. And we take i to be the two element set, 0 and 1 for this case. And we also have m to the l has arbitrary meets if and only if m has arbitrary meets. And in this case, we take i to be an arbitrary set. Then by duality, the result holds also for bottom and joins as well.